Hey guys, this is Izam and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the coffee cup. This is the second video in the two-part series of donut and coffee. Anyway, I'm using the iPad Pro. You can be using any kinds of iPad as long as you can run Affinity Designer because that's what we are going to use to create this vector art. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, hey guys, so this is the second part. I'm going to draw this coffee cup as well as this napkin with some coffee stain this is the second part if you have if you missed the first part please uh, check out the first video all right so what i did was i've copied over this coffee cup as well as the napkin and i've also made this swatch this color swatches for the coffee so here it is starting from the darkest uh the coffee which is here and then it's a gradient you know if you can see so one and two and then this ring over here of the coffee cup one and two okay so as you can see let's uh, break it down so there are three circles here so one is the coffee itself one is the ring and one is the cup and this is the handle we already did this so i'm going to hide this away all right i'm going to group it all and i'm going to hide it i'm going to hide this as well i'm going to group it and hide it and we're done okay so this is the reference that we're having and let's begin remember to make your a uh, new vector layer and anything that we are going to do will be on this layer okay so let's begin Oh, sorry let's use the ellipse tool and let's draw a circle I'm holding uh, one finger on the screen to constrain it to a perfect circle let's make it a bit bigger and we're gonna color it white all right so that is done I'm simply going to duplicate this as you can see there's another layer here I am going to resize it to make it smaller the, the ring all right so I'm gonna resize it about center so press this to make it resize about the center I'm putting my finger down here and resize it like that to a perfect circle so now what I'm gonna do is tap on this fill tool and then tap on this change this to radial okay so here this first um, dot over here I'm gonna change the color this will be the ring and I'm gonna change it to this color all right we're done the next color that is gonna you know watch uh, bleed into is this color over here you can choose any other color that you like okay all right so let's carry on I'm gonna move it like that adjust it so that the darker hue is over here no reason I just like it that way okay so the next one I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate this uh, layer again so tap on this and duplicate now this layer will be below this ring I'm gonna put it above the ring and I'm going to resize I'm still having that about center uh, option turned on I'm going to tap on this and drag and resize it like that and we're done for this I'm going to change the color tap on the fill tool tap on the radio and I will begin coloring the first dot over here the first color what I'm going to choose is this one okay this is the color and this is the darkest color and this one is the lighter color of that of the two and I'm just going to drag it over here this I will drag it closer to the darker color so that the darker color appears around here okay I wonder if you can see that yeah all right we are done almost almost done 
So the next thing that we're going to do is this. I'm going to resize this ring as well as the copy inside it. Resize it. Okay, again, it's about center. Okay, do that again. Oop. Select both. Okay, press one finger on the screen and resize it a bit bigger. And we're done. Okay, so now I'm going to apply the effects on this layer. This layer, I'm going to tap and change the name to Cup and tap OK. Because we're going to make another vector layer and we're going to call it uh, the handle. Okay, just rename this as handle. Handle. Okay. And in this handle layer, I want this handle layer to be under this cup. Okay, so now we're going to, instead of an ellipse, we're going to have it as a rounded rectangle. So notice that what I did was a rounded rectangle. And let's proceed. This rectangle over here. I'm not placing any of my finger on the screen, okay? Now that is done, I'm going to change the color to white. And then I am going to change the corner type to round, like that. Okay, we're done. And now that is done, I'm just going to put it over there, like that. And I think I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And we're done. How easy is that? Yeah? So now let's look at the layer for this handle. So for this handle, I am going to place a shadow all right so over here outer shadow tap here to set the options over down here i'm going to move the radius make it bigger i'm going to have an offset there the opacity lower radius i'm going to make it bigger okay that is done i'm going to copy that okay just hold on tap on the layer over here is the effects i'm going to copy that layer and then I'll, i'm going to tap on this layer the cup layer and i'm going to paste the effects as you can see there it is okay but i feel that this one is a bit much because all i want is just a soft shadow on the handle but this is a bit too much so i'm going to lower it down lower the radius down okay and maybe the offset not too much offset and the angle and set the angle like that set the radius I mean the opacity lower a bit bigger radius and that's good enough for me great so this is it all right i'm going to group these two layers okay i'm going to group it and i'm going to name it as coffee cup and then i'm going to apply the i'm going to paste the effects on this group but this is a bit too much. I'm going to just lower the opacity, lower the radius, and we are done. So now we're going to draw the napkin with the coffee stain. So I have another vector layer, and I'm going to rename this as napkin. And click OK. So a napkin, as you can see, is a very simple um, square. So what I'm going to do is, let's tap on this. Okay, and let's begin. Draw a square, okay. perfect square. Place a finger there. I'm going to rotate this. Oh, let's try that again. Okay, use this. I'm going to rotate, tap, and rotate. And move this over here. Done. So within the same layer, I am going to do um, this coffee stain. Remember from last uh, video, how to do a donut. 
and also a, a half donut like this if you don't remember well we're gonna do it now or you can just refer back to the previous video okay so again use the ellipse tool I'm gonna draw a circle change it to a donut make the whole radius bigger like that so that you have a thin circle here and then we're gonna just you know like that okay <laughs> that's it and then I'm gonna move this over here change the color to this a dark one or this this is fine great we are done but as you can see the edges are rounded around it so let's make a round edge for this guy so what we're going to do is after you select this particular guy tap on the corner tool as you can see there are handles over here okay these two squares on the edges okay tap on here and then place one finger and tap again and now let's zoom in so you can see from here I can move and drag downwards into a perfect rounded corner tap here place one finger tap here to select the next one and just drag down to until you get a perfect circle and that's it that is it okay so next draw an ellipse as you can see in this copy stain I just drew um, a few circles here the same color the dark color just haphazardly just over here and there just messy okay so this is what you can do all right as a challenge for you just draw a few circles down there and that's your coffee stain so that's it for today's tutorial I hope you enjoy this all right so i hope you like that video i hope you can follow through if you can't just rerun that video and try again so if you have any questions just write in the comments below and if you do like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe because you will get notifications whenever i put up new videos on my channel so until then i will see you in the next video goodbye